Carlings. This is Kenny Demetsi Sofer over at Royal Appleberry. And today I am making um, a soap fragrance with another Lush dupe, which is a rose jam. And I'm not a rose person. Um, I really don't really care for the whole. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> that's just my super fan. Um, yeah, I'm not really a rose person, but this one is just a little bit more complex than just rose. It is very, very nice smelling. Um, I think anybody would really enjoy this. It's not like the old lady rose uh, fragrance. Um, but yeah. So I know that it discolors. Because uh, it has a high amount of vanillin in it. But what I'm going to do is uh, only put it in my colored side. Because the soap is going to be black and white. And I'm going to do another tiger or zebra stripe whatever you want to call it with the squeeze bottles um like i did my hey girl hey and my earthy goodness yeah i'm just kind of enjoying doing these i don't know i used to do them a lot when i first started and then i stopped and it's, sometimes I sometimes just like to revisit old things that i used to do old designs and then i kind of get stuck on them until i get bored so um that's what we're doing here so again I'm only I'm only going to fragrance my black side, not my white side. And if it discolors the black, oh well, it's black. You can't see it because <laughs> a lot of you guys know with my hey girl, hey, it did discolor. I mean, it was still it still smelled fantastic, but I had to put it in my category in my soap store called We All Can't Be Pretty, which is kind of like my oop soaps. Um, and thank you, you guys responded very very well to that, so I appreciate that. And um, I did tell in the description, anytime you find anything in that section, I will tell you what's wrong with it. Or, it's nothing wrong with it, but why it's in that section. It just didn't make the cut, you know? Y'all can't make the cut. So, um, I probably should have gotten a napkin. And I am going to get my colors in. So, once I get my colors in, yeah, because I'm kind of distracted. Once I get my colors in and mixed in, then I'll bring you guys right back. Alright, I decided to bring you guys back. Um, normally, I don't do my mixing of my colors, you know, on camera. I do sometimes, but not very often just because you've seen it once. You've seen it a million times. But the reason why I decided to show you this time is because um, I'm adding TD and activated charcoal. And I get a lot of questions about uh, my TD and my activated charcoal. So I figure I just um, show you while I'm doing it. So, to get a really, really white soap, you don't need a lot of TD. I like to use water soluble just because when I first started making soap, I used to use uh, oil disperse, and I never really did truly get a very white soap. And uh, it was kind of like always a beige. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> it was always kind of like a beigey color, but never really white. I like my white TD because my white <laughs> that's what he is um i like the water dispersible because for whatever reason it is just whiter now as far as my activated charcoal um i use about a teaspoon nothing crazy um and that should do it because a lot of people don't like colored suds and i try to avoid colored suds sometimes you can't avoid it i mean you just can't but i mean they're not harmful not at all it's just really aesthetics and what you like. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, let you guys see. And also, um, I get a lot of questions about the fluidity of my soap and how it stays fluid for so long. Um, well, first, what I do, I don't really even mix my uh, oils to trace once I pour my lye in it. Just because I know that I'm going, I just mix it to emulsification. Because I know that I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be stick blending again once I put my colorants and fragrances and all that stuff in. So by the time I get ready to pour, it's at light trace. Unless I use like a, a fast accelerating, um, fragrance oil or something along those lines so this is white I don't know if the camera is picking it up but I kind of want it like a stark white and now what I do as far as my uh, TD 
sometimes I pre-mix my TDs and keep it off to the side so when I need it and other times I'll just do it when I need it but I just take about a teaspoon of TD and I'll mix that in maybe not even two ounces of water because you don't want to keep adding all this liquid to your soap because it'll take longer to cure out but um, I put just enough where it'll whiten my soap but not you know make it too watery or whatever so that's what I do there all right um, now if this thickens up that's quite all right because with my tiger stripe or zebra stripe I like for my soaps to be a little bit on the thicker side because the lines come out crisper to me and you see how inky black that is already so yeah that's lovely and I don't know this is my first time using this supplier for the fragrance oil um, it's by Sensational Soaping Company. Um, I actually bought it at um, on a Facebook group, a D-Stash group. So I got a pretty good deal on it. And I'm just like, you know what, let's try it because I'm all things Lush Dupes. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pour my fragrance. I don't know how this behaves. Other than people were basically saying that it smelled really good. And um, I don't think that I found any reviews as far as how it behaves in CP soap, but it, I just heard it was like a really good seller. So and right now, there's no rising or anything crazy. So it smells fantastic though. See, so all my stick blending gets done at this point, not before. So that's how and also um, I don't want to say that's gonna work for all recipes this is just kind of what buys me a little bit more time but my recipe itself is I have a very very fluid recipe um, and I as you guys see when I did that flower piping challenge for Amy Warden um, I have been playing with that soap for like two hours and it was still fluid so yeah all right, so um, I think everything is good and mixed in. I just kind of wanted to give this a bit of a more of them. A bit of a more of a, what is that? <laughs> a bit more of a stick blending just because um, I stick blend the white so much. So I think this is going to be lovely. Oh, and also I'm putting some botanicals on top. I'm going to put red roses being the fact that it is rose jam but it's not really a red red rose you know what i mean but anyway so let me get my bottle get my borky okay doke so now i got my squeeze bottles ready i'm still using the baby bottle liners and they are working lovely so um i guess i'm just gonna get started uh, I'm not going to talk through the whole thing because, of course, these always take quite some time. But do enjoy the music. Oh, and I didn't forget to sh I, I did forget to show you my roses. This is what I'm going to be using for the top. And I got some ideas of some gold mica along the way. So we'll see. All right. So as much as I love my baby bottle liners <laughs> and the cleanup is so easy, sometimes they are not the most efficient thing for me um like well i'm just discovering today because these bottle uh, liners collapse when you're using them so it's kind of like giving me some weird air suction thing going on and then as you can see my bottles are collapsing too and i'm not enjoying this because i don't have all day to stand here and do this so as soon as this color runs out i mean as soon as the, these are empty I'm just going to fill my bottles regularly. Yeah, and like this ribbon effect that's going on, which is fine. I don't care about the thickness. I purposely thickened it up. Uh, but yeah, this is not, this is not conducive. So, <laughs> um, we're going to have to nix the liners. All right, back to the music. Okay, so there's been some technical difficulties here. 
and it would be the time that I tell you, oh, my soap stays so fluid. <laughs> yeah, so, um, this black hat just got like way too thick to even squirt. I didn't want to like break the top of my bottle. So I decided to put it in this bag and I'm still going to do the exact same thing. It's just going to be, um, it's just going to be a different technique of doing it. You know what I mean? Because, um, it can still be done. That's the one thing I do like about this design. It doesn't have to be like super crazy fluid in order for it to work. So, um, and if they fall like that, I really don't care. It's not a big deal to me. So I'm going to put some white down that side and then that way we can start like kind of like a, a new line or a new pour. Um, hopefully this bag will hold up because um, raw soap has a tendency to eat through uh, the seams of these uh, plastic baggies. But yeah, it's going to be the same idea pretty much. Just a different technique of doing it so I just want to come back and show you guys that instead of you like what's going on why is she using that bag now so it's kind of like piping into a, a mold <laughs> in a sense say that this has definitely been a real soap adventure <laughs> um this black just gave me the most trouble and just as i thought like i said sometimes uh, a raw soap has a tendency to eat through a ziploc bag the seams and that's exactly what it did it's kind of like my geyser again <laughs> so um i was just smart and i would, don't have time to waste because i'm just like okay I'm not even about to let you defeat me today <laughs> so I just took it out no I didn't take it out I left it in a bag with the hole on the side of it and just put it in a regular piping bag and kept it moving you know what I mean because uh sometimes soap can get real testy and I'm just not in the mood for its testiness I want to win this one so um yeah that's what's going on here and again I know some of you probably think oh that looks a hot mess <laughs> But trust me when I say it's going to be beautiful. I feel it. I do feel it. So I am just going to go ahead and continue adding my white. And um, then we'll decorate the top. We will. We will, we will. So I know this looks crazy, but like I said, it's going to work out. It always does. So before I get too crazy with this, I'm going to go ahead and give this another smackdown. Okay. So now, there's no real sense in me cleaning up that side, but I just feel like I need to. Okay. And then I'm going to continue to put the rest of this white on here. And I'm just going to kind of keep going back and forth. thinking instead of doing your traditional mica drizzle I'm just gonna do a dry one kind of like I did with my romance me soap but of course I'm gonna texture this top so I'm not gonna put a lot because I am gonna put some gold color sea salt on here too so, um, this is what we're going to do to the sides, and I probably should have cleaned that up first, but too late. Whatever. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, I could say that, um, I don't know about fantastic for me. It's not bad. It's just, whoo, the snow, <laughs> the snow is doing the extra, the most extra most. <laughs> 
Um, we got, I think it was like six to ten inches last night. We're supposed to get one to three inches today. And then tomorrow we're supposed to get another one to three. Fun times. And it's not like it's not going to happen because I looked out the window and it is snowing already. So, yeah, it's fun. So, yep, I'm going to take down this top some because it's a little too high. Yeah, we don't need no more soaps with pompadours. <laughs> so, um, this has been a very messy, messy soap to make today. And um, I don't have them very often, but when I do, I tell you, they are extremely messy. So, I'm just going to keep moving this around until it feels right to me. And then, we will go ahead and put my additives. Additives? Nope, not additives. Botanicals. <laughs> On top. Ooh, that's pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little bit. So you can see how pretty it really is. And hi, if you are just joining my channel for the first time, hello. Yep, this is what I do. And this is why I am called the Messy Soaper. But I always seem to make it work. Oddly enough, I do. So <laughs> I embrace my messiness. <laughs> and I do believe that this soap is going to turn out just the way I wanted it to. So that's always a good thing and so yeah this is I did a custom order of rose and white tea um, and then I sold off what I didn't sell and it I really don't call it a custom order it was a request that she had and I said well yeah you know what I'll make it anytime I know I can sell off the rest I'll do it for a person by request about making them buy the whole loaf but it's not very often I do that all right so I'm kind of in love with this top like it is like right now <laughs> so now that we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this excess mica and I swear my darn mail person is a ninja I, <laughs> I swear they are because I just checked my mailbox um and we have a lot of snow outside like I said I just checked my mailbox not too long ago and there was not a single piece of mail in that box anywhere and then I just went out and looked and there's mail in it. I'm like, um, when did this happen? So, <laughs> and he does this all the time. And also because of this snow, yes, it's a rant time about the snow. <laughs> and I know some people have it far worse than us, but I still got to complain because I hate snow. Although I do live in Michigan. That makes no sense at all. Yes, I know. But, um, yeah, so... I ordered something and she sent it out immediately but it came to my city and then it went back to another city 30 minutes away from here and I'm just like what in the hell of it why did you guys not just give it to me um, postal service you know I love them but they make me mad <laughs> so then I called and it's like yeah it's here in Detroit but um, we had a power outage so there's gonna be a hold up on that I'm like oh my goodness so here it is three days later and I still haven't got my package and keep saying delayed. So not really thrilled about that. But um, anywho, we're just going to go ahead and put this beautiful gold salt. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's, oh, it's just making me feel better. Yes, it is. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on. I really, really, really want my... And it's not just one package. It's like three or four different packages I'm still waiting on. So that is quite annoying. But anywho, enough of that complaining. Rant over. Let's talk about how pretty the top of this soap is. Because <laughs> it is. I love it. I really do. I almost don't want to put my roses on here, but it kind of goes with the theme of things. And I sat and meticulously plucked a whole bunch of roses off the stems. And then I clean my table to do, to put my table, my new table cover on. And now I cannot find those roses. <laughs> so. All right, so I did have another look to see if I could find those roses, cannot. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, kind of do some of this. Because I don't want a crazy amount on the top, you know what I mean? I just want to add a little bit of color so I think two buds just might do it I'm not gonna put the centers 
get back where I want you to go, please and thank you. That is it for this soap. This soap has really tested my nerves, but I will say it was worth it because I am in love with what's going on here. Yes, I am. So, um, stick around because there is a cutting video which will be up next, right there. Hi, darlings. Welcome back. Um, now I am coming with a cutting of my rose jam type soap. I really do love the way that this looks. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's been out of the mold for a couple of hours. And I mold it really nicely. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I almost don't want to cut it. It's so pretty on top. But, gotta cut it. So I'm just hoping that it wows me as much as it's wowing me now once I cut it. So let me just make a wee bit of room here. I'm going to cut it on the side because I don't want any drag marks. Hmm, let's see. Oh, that's pr oh, that's pretty. Look at that, guys. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, I didn't expect it to look like this. How gorgeous. Oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, <laughs> that's just the end. <laughs> let me um, let me really get into the cutting. And I just love that beautiful, fine little gold mica line. I meant to do three, but I don't know. I think that this soap had just really got on my nerves, so I just mixed the whole idea, but I wish I would have. And Dave was really excited to see what this soap looks like on the inside, so he'll be pleased that I cut it. Because I actually wasn't planning to cut it today, but kind of happy that I did. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. Look at that. It looks very expensive. Look! It's so pretty. <laughs> and it's, oh, it smells so good. And the notes on this, I didn't have them when I was doing the making, but the notes on this fragrance is uh, Turkish Rose, Geranium, and Lemon. It's just a very small hint of citrus. And it just, it's a beautiful blend. It, it really complements one another. And I, I'm not a rose person at all, but I do like this and I just, I really do adore the look of this soap so much. It's tall. I'm trying not to crush the top of it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Very, very pleased with the way this turned out. Yes, I am. That top is just... I'm madly in love with that top. And that little mica line. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but that mica line is just doing it for me. It's so subtle, but... It's just dainty. It's really, really dainty and pretty. Wow, I love this soap. <laughs> um, I hope you guys love it as much as I do because I really want to make it again. That's how much I love it. And normally when soaps give me a hard time, I'm just like, girl, bye. Go, go about your life. But <laughs> um, this one, I kind of do want to just, I want to make it over and over again. So I hope it sells well enough to stick around where I can remake it because it is very aesthetically pleasing to me. That's why I want to make it again. and um i love the texture of it this was my last soap that i did with a water discount is it yeah and i really do like the texture of this i love those swirls you just never know what you're gonna get and okay so even though it thickened up this actually made it look better i think i like the bigger chunks of black better than the smaller ones down here what do you guys think so I'm going to leave a poll. You let me know if you like the thinner ones or the thicker. The thinner lines or the thicker lines. Um, it should be popping up pretty soon. And it should be right up in the corner. But yeah, I just really didn't know. I knew it was going to be nice, but I just didn't know what the design was going to look like. Because it thickened up, so. But yeah, I'm madly in love with this stuff. I really am. And it just that's crazy how much I really enjoyed the smell of this in the bottle it's nice but it was just kind of like ah oh, his rose yeah so, <laughs> but uh, the more I smell it it's just like okay you know I can I can vibe with this rose 
and then once I poured it I just kind of fell in love with it and now that it's had time to kind of sit and mellow out you can smell that tiny hint of lemon and it is so nice with the geranium and rose it really really is that's what I love about Lush they just they know how to do it with the fragrances the fragrance blends that's why I'm always whenever I see a Lush dupe I jump all over because I do love their fragrances that is really really pretty very very pretty and I'm glad I didn't go crazy with the rose petals or put a rose on each one I'm glad I just did like a little bit with the gold it's just this whole soap just compliments itself <laughs> with the gold seesaw with the gold I mean with the yeah gold mica line and the little bit of rose petals the black and white with the thick and thin stripes yes I'm madly in love yes let's go with that we're gonna go with that I'm madly in love with the soap and <laughs> um which one did I really I really did like my uh what's that flirty girl soap the one I did the blend on I did like that one but you know it's nice to come across one that you just fall head over heels with and this is it I don't believe nope I've never done a black and white soap ever this is my first time in four years making soap doing a black and white soap but I'm glad I did and like I told you guys this um go Michael line was an afterthought but I'm glad that I did decide to go that route <laughs> So I hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. Thankfully, the snow is leaving us. Now we're going to get rain to wash all the crap out. Um, we just got, we really got slime. I, I do believe we've gotten probably 10 inches of snow. Um, probably more than that in a matter of two days. So it's good to see that the weather is going to warm up and it's going to rain and wash it all out. And I really do hope that we are done and there that's just real like wishful thinking honey we live in michigan you just never know how it can snow in the summer so <laughs> but i really do hope that we are done with being slammed with snow i know my fellow michiganders out here that watch my channel you guys can relate <sighs> i'm just i had to take a second i just had to take a second i love this soap <laughs> crazy how much in love with this soap I am I really am I mean I do love it like like seriously like love it like it's my child no that's too far that's a bit kind of crazy but anyway I do really like the way this turned out and I made another soap the same day so I'm hoping that I love that one just as much you guys will find out uh next week if I love it as much you know what I mean So yeah, if this is your first time joining my channel, I am so freaking happy you were here and already said that. But still, I just want to welcome you again. Because I am so appreciative that you decided to hang out with me. And see what I can do. And see what I can make. And see what this soap is going to look like. I hope you like it. If you do, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate those thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button to become a part of the stinking awesome crew. That's my awesome sauce subscribers love all of you i really do thank you for being there always and giving me all the love and support that you constantly show me you guys are rocking my stripy socks which are in the laundry right now yes <laughs> don't have on socks which is odd i normally always have on socks okay but who cares about that but anywho yeah so glad you decided to hang out with me thank you i really do appreciate you look at that i think this one here is my favorite piece just the top it's just that gold and that little piece of rose. It's so lovely. Oh, that smells wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I know, like, my soap cutting video is probably 5% cutting and 95% <laughs> of squilling. <laughs> I just get I mean it's so much fun to see the reveal of what your soap is gonna look like on the inside that's extremely exciting to me I know other soap makers can relate because it really is a very exciting time for me and I gotta make bath bombs later custom order and um, I'm not wanting to do that because <laughs> I just don't like making bath bombs they're just too messy they are way too messy for my liking but 
people love them so I make them and I guess can't complain too much I only really make them around craft fair time and for custom orders so and this is a really 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 good customer of mine so I will do anything he wants me to do for him when it comes to soap making requests because he is a very good customer he spoils his wife and daughter and mom trust he really really does so again, I'm so glad you guys stopped by. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to take you off the tripod and show you just this gloriousness that's going on over here with these soaps. Hold on.